Hello, this is Divine New Souls 11 Divine Sunshine coming to you with a Divine Unisoul love letter, which can be used for either a Divine Feminine or a Divine Masculine. So this is a unisex energy read in a love letter. Hello, Divine Sunshiners. Stay uplifted, stay motivated, stay ascended. Namaste. Nama go. All right, so let's begin. Clear. Right now, I'm trying to be magic. What I mean by, I am trying to look within myself to bring out the magician within me. I'm trying to take spirit and action and create an alchemy There's a harmony that is a rhythm that needs to start and begin with me. Now this magician energy that I'm stepping into requires for me to mature. The next time you might see me, I might not look the same. You might see the awareness coming in the form of me seeming as if I'm totally brand new. Because right now, my aim is to be in the energy of unconditional love. I'm trying to be true to the infinity sign that's above. Source is helping me to understand the flow and the balance and the rhythm of things. But first, it must begin with me taking a hard look at myself and seeing how things are being reflected in my world. There's a rebirth happening with me. But it's got to begin with a change that helps me move into an alignment that causes this rebirth. Because the heart of the matter is I want us to recapture who we were. I want us to be just like at the beginning when we first met, where there was a natural flow, a flirtation that helped to stir up the inner youth between me and you. And I believe by recapturing this between you and I, it would allow our inner youth 
in our youthfulness a spirit of fun to shine again. Because this will help us to realign into who we truly are, which is divine soul mates or divine partners. Because the truth of the matter is, I unlock you and you unlock me. And us together, we help love flow from one another with ease. It's within both of us to want to protect one another, to shield one another, to be with one another. Because we know that within us, in this life, we're destined to be with each other for life. I know right now we both feel unfulfilled with the way our relationship is going. We both think that this is incomplete. And in some ways, it might be purposeless. I too feel lonely. I feel that the people around me don't understand me, nor do they feel like entertaining me. I have regretted the way things have been between the two of us. I feel remorseful. I'm sorry. And I do want to re repent. But most of all, right now, I know I need to earn your respect. Because no matter what and how it seems, I do truly admire you. You are the only worthy person that I feel that is my equal. And that I don't have a problem in bowing down to out of respect and reverence. Right now, I'm looking for relief. I'm looking for something to come along and save me and give me my life back. To help to reassure me, to soothe me and to put me at ease. But I also know in order for me to be rescued I got to get some knowledge and I've got to be willing to come down off of that tree and want to be saved just like that cat stuck in the tree and then allow source to root return me back to my rightful lover, which is you. Because out here in the world, I've gotten lost. I've gotten hung up. I've gotten caught. But many of the things that the worldly things has been brought to me that has caused me to not be able to see my way or to be scared to come down from where I am. 
I know right where I am that I need to be washed and bathed clean. I know that this feeling of always feeling as if something is lurking around the corner, something terrible may happen to me, is something of a fear in which I have got to get rid of in order for me to be spiritually complete to be made whole. I've got to become vulnerable. I got to be vulnerable to allow spirit to cleanse me and to help me to make myself whole so I can be able to see what I'm actually destined to be, who is truly the person in the mirror, the true magician I was destined to be, to know that I can change my own world. I can change the way I see things. I can manifest things. I know that I have to learn how to get into the flow of things because it is based upon the way I look at things through illusions and because of the darkness that I am not able to see. However, I understand now that I have to rely on my intuition and my awareness to help me stay in the flow because this is my true security. Not based upon things of the past, but actions in the present, in the now, that helps me to create a new universe. A new universe that centers around me. I can now relax. Because that's what's destined for me, not to always live in fear. when I'm trying to gain or get spiritual completion, always figuring out that there's a boogeyman coming to get me. But I can relax in knowing that my intuition and my awareness and source truly have me as I'm gaining more knowledge about the world about myself and who I am destined to be. I'm learning to embrace. I'm destined to embrace this newness, this new dawn that is coming. I'm also at a point of willingness to embrace the dance that you and I do that it sometimes seems like we're in opposition, but understanding that every step that seems like you're moving in the opposite direction of me is making it seem and sources making it be that you're becoming closer and closer to me. Please understand that I was in pain. 
I never meant to ruin things. I never meant to ruin us. Now I know. I know I messed up and I did things that made it seem like I don't care. But trust me, you are my world. You are my heaven. You are my shining star. You are my everything. Please know that I let you go. That doesn't mean I didn't want to. Although I feel lonely now, I feel that even where I'm at, nobody understands me. Please understand that in my own way, I felt I had my reasons. And the only thing that I knew was the solution. And the only way I knew how to be, I had to do it. I had to let you go because I just didn't want you there with me while I was going through what I was going through. You are the reason why I'm smiling again. Sometimes I catch myself thinking about how we could be, how we should be together. That's why I'm taking time out now to reflect, to look in the mirror and to tell myself to become this magician. Source is now telling me to understand that I've got to be the one who is the weaver of my universe, especially in my world, that I got to start lining things up and finding a way in which I'm letting every integral part find a way in which to be a part of my world that I want that's sustainable and not base it upon things that no longer aligns with where I want to go. Understanding that right now in this process of where I am, I'm learning how to become wiser. I'm understanding this is a process. And that at the end of the day, I'll be able to take what things that I've learned to apply to us, to our union from my journey. Understanding that now, where I am, that I'm becoming wiser. I'm learning how to take that king of swords now instead of using it for defensiveness and to use it for good. Understanding how to have control over my negative thoughts. Understanding to have my sights seen and my sights targeted and focused on exactly where I want to go and who I want to be and who I want to be with. Understanding that now, although I'm just starting out to use my ideas that I've gained from this knowledge that helping me to go to the other side of where I want to go into my destiny and being able to have a, be a master over my conflict and way of my thinking and my thoughts helped me to gain flight, to ascend, to go to the next level. But mainly right now, I know I've learned, got to learn how to balance out the things that's in heaven and in earth and make it manifest here in the 3D. And most of this has got to be gained by me having control over my emotions. So on this journey, 
I know. <coughs> I'm still trying to find myself. And I know it's going to take some time. And this is a journey that never ends. But I know in trying to find myself, I know it's helping me and it's leading me back to you. And what I want you to, my final thoughts to you as I close out my letter to you is this. Do something for someone else. Give your attention to someone else. Right now, while I'm trying to find myself, take your attention off of me and put it on you. Put it on the things that bring you joy. Put it on the things that's presently with you. Because when you take your attention off of me and you put it on you, you draw me to you. And it helps me to find myself. And I want you to also know, express love through gifts. Giving a small token to someone expresses your love to them. That even though you may not in the physical be able to give to me, but when you find time to lose little things for yourself or you are able to give to me that helps me to free my mind and free my heart to freely be. I'm working on myself. I'm looking at the person in the mirror. And Clear. I'm learning how to be that magician that we both need me to be so I can be able to create the universe that will be able to manifest our love and our relationship back to the beginning where there was innocence, where there was playfulness. And all we wanted to do was just be with each other because we truly understood that we are soulmates. We are divine. We are more than just soulmates. We are the ultimate lovers. Two songs I want to leave with you is anytime you want to, you can turn me onto anything you want to, anytime at all. When I kiss your lips, oh, I start to shiver. Can't control the quivering inside. A goofy, a groovy kind of love, Phil Collins. And until the 12th of never, I'll still be loving you. 12th of never, Johnny Mathis. All right. This ends and concludes the love letter from a divine masculine or divine feminine. This is the divine unisoul's love letter which means it's unisex, it can go from either one. 
if you would like your own personal love letter, please make sure that you go to Divine Unisouls 11.co and you can get one right there for $22 uh, as well. Make sure that you click like and share and subscribe to this channel for you be able to see more of these love letters from either Divine Masculine or Divine Feminine and Unisouls or any other great things when I go on live. Make sure that you smash the notification bell for all so you know when I come on because I follow spirit and when it directs me, I come on. And so you can be notified when I'm coming on. I usually notify you all in the community tab uh, that I am coming on. I usually give you a couple of men start so you can be able to join me. And so when you do that, again, this is dislike. Again, because when you like, you share or energies that change. I give energy to you by doing the readings and you give me energy back by giving me a like. All right. Until next time, stay uplifted, stay motivated, stay ascending. Namaste. Namago. And I'll be talking to you real soon.